Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this book we will be discussing the final book in the Percy Jackson series, The Last Olympian. So as I discussed in the, the last video, uh, I thought the fourth book was the last book, when in fact this one, the fifth, is the last book. Uh, so my expectations were a little over the place, but uh, now no, this is the last one. So uh, the, the conclusion to this uh, I guess saga. So in this book, uh, it's the conclusion, and there is quite a bit of action, uh, just going from battle to battle and just moment to moment. Uh, found the pacing to be quite, quite fast, uh, perhaps even too fast at a number of points. Uh, yeah, it was. I don't think they gave enough time to. A lot of the smaller details to make it make more sense but uh, uh, Percy is preparing for this battle and decides to uh, bathe in the river, river sticks to get the uh, curse of Achilles and become more powerful to have a chance against uh, Luke slash Kronos. Yeah so I think part of what was I don't know, a little non coherent about it was just the multiple battles and like the storm uh, typhon just kind of sweeping across the country uh, that didn't uh, I felt like it was kind of weird how they kind of like sp like split up the fighting and I don't know I thought that was just a little off uh, yeah I guess I just found it to be a bit too incoherent for my liking but Overall, it happened. Uh, you know, they, Luke is able to kind of redeem himself. Well, does he? Yeah. But, uh, yeah, Kronos is killed, but not killed. Uh, and then uh, Percy's able to really, like, negotiate to make sure that other uh, half-bloods get their... I mean, half-bloods and lesser gods are able to I guess just be treated better by the the main gods and kind of just wraps up nicely Percy and Annabeth have some kissies and yeah everything kind of just works out so like I said I feel like this could have been better and it definitely wasn't near the height of the series uh, and so for that reason I have given this book three stars out of five and yeah but overall I think this the series was a, a good series to read and yeah now I can relate with my wife about it and we have the uh, Disney Plus series coming up to watch so hopefully that goes well all right thank you for watching uh, in our next video we will be discussing a non-fiction book that discusses the history of something something I've invested a lot of time and money into. So get excited for that one.